Okay, in this video, we're just going to finish up with our site. So let's close the sections here. And I notice up at the top, we now have a new section or a new tab up here about this site. Okay, so. And here's our new section down here about this site. Okay, so what we could do now is we could go into content and then let's click text and then let's oh, let's close this now let's drag this down in here okay and this is how you can add more content to your site so let's double click this oops you're supposed to double click here okay and about this site and then you got your, your the same basic editor here you got your fonts your size your color bold italics underline and your alignments over here okay, so save the content you want there and of course you still have the same things here you know we have some things we can do here so here's our appearance main color link colors shadow colors number of columns etc style the font size how you want it filled fill color opacity glow so there's lots of different things you can do in there and then again bring to the front and send to the back okay so that's what you can do you can organize into sections and then you can drop widgets into the sections now some other things let's for instance let's go to this one and then let's go into edit here there for the different widgets you will have different types of settings so down here if we go to appearance we have again we have heading and different fonts fill opacity so you can change each widget to appear differently if you like okay so you just add your your different sections there now let's go and preview the mobile site here oh, that was a facebook page that was what i wanted to do let's go back Now you see here that we have our logo really small there and then we have our our text here. So let's get rid of the text. Let's make this logo large. I'm still kind of small in this case for our mobile site. So maybe we should do it the other way. Do this and this. Okay, let's go to content here. You'll see that message me is checked, but none of the rest of them are. So let's check the rest of them here. Now, we can move these around a little bit here. Okay, so there we go. Now we got Galaxy S3 News. Okay, we got to fix that description there. About this site, message me and blog. So we want to put this about this site at the bottom. There, that's the order we want it in there. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll just fool around with that until we get the mobile site looking the way we want. So we can close this now. Now let's preview the Facebook page. Okay, and then what you would do is you would give it authorization for your Facebook page. So you give us permission to manage your Facebook page. And I'm not going to do that, but that's what you would do to get this into your Facebook account as a, as a Facebook page. And then also with these buttons, if you double click on the button, you can change the button appearance as well. Okay, so that's how you can change the appearance of your buttons to make them look a little more like you might like them to look. Now, you might be wondering about your blog here. So you have my blog entry here, and there's really nowhere here to do anything with it. And that's because uh, it works after you publish it. But you can you can go to it by doing a preview on the web, and then go down to where your blog is here. Okay, and then if you click here. So here's where you can manage your, your blog here. So you can create a new entry. You have your archives. You can import the uh, yeah, not RSS feed or an Atom feed from somewhere else. Okay, and then we can edit this first entry here. So put something else here that might make more sense to you. Okay, whatever. I'm going to just leave it like that. And then down here, we'll just save. Okay, so that's how you edit your blog. When you, Once it's published, you can just go in and come back in here. And this just shows it here a little without the comments in it. Okay, so that's that. So that's basically it. It's just a drag and drop interface. You add sections, you add content to the sections. You can change your backgrounds for the whole site or for each section as well. You can move your sections around. You can drag the these. These are your section markers. So you can drag them up and down a little bit to space them further apart. And then you can, when you put your mouse inside here and you see a cross like that, you can move these around up or down. So that's how you move things around as well. Okay, so when we're at this point now, what we would do is we would publish. And there we go. So it's publishing right now. And then you can tell your social networks here, Facebook and Twitter. And that's it. So now we have our page up and ready to go here. So if we were to go to our direct URL now, okay, so this is galaxy s3.infinite.ly. Now let's bring it up, let's bring up the mobile site in a mobile emulator here. Let's go and here's the mobile site. And you see down here it says here's the URL. So let's copy this. Now I'm going to open up a mobile site emulator. Okay, so here's the mobile phone emulator, just to make sure it's working. So you'll see that we still have this issue here with the with the along with the NBSP in there. I can go back and fix that. And then here's our blog. There's message me about this site. It's over there, and there are our social media bookmarks there. Now, just one more thing. If you wanted to, you could use the free site, and you could use a custom domain with it by just doing a redirect and domain masking. So if you went to a register like GoDaddy, register a domain, and then in the settings, there's redirect. Just redirect your domain to your site URL, and then 
there is an option to mask it, which will keep the domain name in the browser window when somebody visits your site using that domain. So that way it looks like you have a custom site on your own domain while still using infinitely for your site design. Okay, so that is it. That is how you use infinitely to create your own site.